bit of a contradiction in terms, isn't it? What do they do? Build churches? <laughs> do they repair them? <laughs> All the ones the, the satanic black metalers have burnt down, they go around and like rebuild them and give them a lick of paint. Yeah, I, guess I don't so. get how that works. You're documenting the, the Christian black metal aspect of this uh, <laughs> scene too, right? Yeah, what? that's not right. It's a contradiction term, so... What the fuck's that all about? It is simply not doable, you know? That'd be like the concept of a Formula One car with two wheels, you know? It, it's just, it can't be done. But you have the old bands that got the triangle. Yeah, but they're not black metal bands, you know? They... Uh, Just two things that don't come by. <laughs> it's absurd, you know. We had a debate in our letters pages that went on for must have been six weeks about whether or not you can play Christian black metal. And all sort of from one review of um, one of our writers, one of our writers of a band called Drotner, um, who's um, who reviewed a Christian black metal band and just didn't know what to make of it. Because um, he couldn't, he didn't know what to market because it just, it seemed to be um, anti everything black metal stands for. Now, for a lot of people, black metal, what it stands for is really, really important. And on one hand, how can you have a religion that talks about that whose basic point is redemption? That's that's one of the most antithetical aspects to black metal there is. You know, it's one of the most antithetical themes to black metal. You know, black metal is about your humanity. It's not about being. It's not about um, giving your humanity over to, to you know, a god or a higher force. Maybe it's um, it's a communion with with some forces, but it's still about the essence of yourself within. In every philosophical way, Christian black metal is an absolute contradiction in terms. Not that there haven't been Christian black metal bands, and maybe there's some aspects of Christianity, you know, maybe it's sort of a more sort of Old Testament, hang 'em high kind of kind of, you know, wrath that might actually find a parallel with black metal um, in the way that, say, a non-black metal band, but say 16 Horsepower, they use Christianity, uh, but, they, but they use a very Old Testament, old form of Christianity, which is, which is very much about God's wrath. Um, so they might, they might find some parallels there, but the thing that makes black metal what it is, 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 is the belief. And if you, if you don't believe in what black metal stands for, then that's not going to come across in music, and that, that's why you just don't find any um, any well-known Christian black metal bands because they can't. They, you know, what you need to believe in for black metal is not something that that, that it, to, to my mind, is um, is you know you, you can you, you can do that within Christianity. <laughs> Christian black metal. That's funny. Uh. What is it actually? As a Christian guy into Satanism, is, because that's the beginning of black metal and was some kind of uh, showing great Satan and <laughs> all the dark things in life. Actually, I think the Satanism is kind of be yourself and do what you want. But uh, the Christian guys. They got their rules by the Bible, and so they kind of go and search for the black thing, or don't what they do. I don't. I'm not religious at all, so I really don't.